uh, my name is ankit raj and i am from dr bcr engineering college durgapur west bengal india so my topic is all about uh, phase wise stochastic uh, scaling and dynamical analysis of pan india covid 19 outbreak so let's uh, hear from uh, the introduction part so as we know that uh, the covid 19 uh, has a, is a, is in uh, occurred the outbreak of covid 19 occurred in different parts of world and it is a major concern for all of the administrative units of uh, respective countries so uh, india with a popular population of more than 1.34 billion is, has the second largest uh, population in the world has been facing difficulties in controlling the transmission of covid-19 in world so this uh, uh, in this scope of a uh, study uh, i have uh, presented uh, as a uh, stochastic parameters as well as few dynamical characteristics of the outbreak that will be classified to in, in for internal dynamics of the pandemic as well as uh, phase wise scaling with different window size has been done in this project so let's see the experimental data that has been used here uh, is uh, collected from uh, the repository of covid-19 data center uh, of our system science and engineering at john hopkins university that is publicly available at this uh, the following site which i have given so here is the uh, phase wise decomposition of data that uh, i have uh, collected from the site so this uh, here is the full span signal of the data that we have collected which is further subdivided uh, into phase three phases of the data so the the phase one and phase two corresponds to the uh, the the phase one and four corresponds to the say first and second wave uh, that has happened in india and the third wave third phase is correspond to the leftover of second wave and the uh, full third wave that have occurred in india so we have used uh, some scaling analysis uh, for the estim estimation of first exponent uh, we have used four different methods for calculating the value of h so that uh, it has more convincing values so let's go to the results and discussion. These are the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, skewness, and kurtosis of the data that I have uh, collected from the site. Here we saw, uh, we can we we can see that there is a standard deviation that shows here is the highest uh, that uh, indicates that uh, the data are more spread out and difficult to infer due to different peaks and waves. And uh, uh, in, as compared to phase one and phase two, the full span data is higher. So in, in, uh, in compared to phase three, it is much lower. And that indicates that the data are clustered around the mean and may continue in a constant and without uh, any further massive outbreak. So let's go further to the skewness. Skewness is the measure of uh, how much the probability distribution of a random variable deviates from the normal distribution. So in, in, in case of full span, the skew, uh, as well as the phase one and phase two, the skewness are positive, positive. And in case of phase three, it has a negative skewness. Uh, similarly, in case of uh, kurtosis, uh, uh, phase three has a double indicating letter uh, in, after the phase one and phase two. So let's hear for the average peak to peak duration of the, the data. It suggests that uh, during second wave or phase two, the outbreak was more consistent than the, the phase three as it has decreased in phase three. Uh, here the table three, it has a fractal dimension that represents the roughness of the signal in terms of numbers. The value of fractal dim uh, dimension here is independent from scale. And it is evident from the table that uh, through the Values of fraction different dimensions are different, but they are in a close proximity range from 1.2427 to 1.7832. This results confirm that under observation of strong st statistical uh, self-similarity instead of strictly self-similarity, and thus COVID-19 spread will be more considered to follow the properties of fractals. Now we have uh, the calculated the Hurst uh, exponents uh, uh, with, with four different methods uh, the value of a uh, hertz exponents uh, 
in signals uh, implies that it whether it has some underlying trends or it is just a some pure random walk so from the table 4 it is evident that first exponents of full span phase 1 uh, and phase 2 uh, is uh, less than uh, is, is greater than 0 0.5 which implies that the, the spread mechanism is persistent and of long memory process on the contrary, in, in case of phase three, it is less than 0 0.5 that suggests the process is anti-persistent and have short memory. This result uh, leads to a constrained forecasting of third wave of COVID-19 in India. Conclusion, in, in this present scope, it has been concluded that the daily spread of COVID-19 in India is governed by non-stationary process with characteristic of fractal Brownian motion. From the starting of spread till the end of second wave, the pandemic was persistent with long memory, whereas, but in phase three, it is anti-persistent with short memory. Thank you.